Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Figma Bloodborne Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower, the Deluxe Edition. And yeah, I've been waiting for this one for a while. So yeah, you can see her there in front of the box, which, yep, we'll look at that real quick. Yes, it is a well, big old black box that says, you know, Figma and Max Faction Bloodborne. Has a picture of uh, Lady Maria there and it says her name right there. It's, yeah, nice gold there. You got the Figma logo up here. You have on this side just Bloodborne, the old hunters, because it's the DLC. On the bottom you have a barcode, on this side you have a picture, well, of Lady Maria. On the back you have a whole bunch of product shots and warnings and you have all that stuff. And it's also, yeah, you can see it's a slip cover. So you can, yeah, you can see it's more standard, more of a standard-esque box. It's very crimson color, makes sense, because you know, the old blood and all that stuff. Bloodborne is very, blood is a very important thing in Bloodborne, turns out. You got that front, you got this on the top. Again, that same side as before. You got this side right here, again, the sitting pose, because this is a deluxe version. On the bottom you have another pose, and on the back you have, well, I believe all the same, uh, actually no different pictures. So yeah, that's the box. And also inside the box, you can, it's, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there is a uh, picture of the astral clock tower, this thing right here. So you could theoretically use that for your display as well. In the box, of course, you have the instructions, which are both Japanese and English language, you know, for basically how to use all the parts and whatnot, because there's quite a few of them. And because I ordered from a good smile shop directly, this also came with, you know, this little bag, which came with this, the pre-order bonus, which is basically looks like the floor in the actual boss arena when you fight her more rather than the standard uh, Figma stand. And of course a baggie to put all the accessories in, which we'll get to in a little bit. Anyway, Lady Maria, okay, you know, the best boss from the best PS4 game. I'm not going to uh, take any arguments about that. It is <laughs> Bloodborne is my favorite PS4 game ever. But yeah, you can see she is, well, not the usual uh, girl when it comes to Figma figures. She's not very anime because she's not an anime character. You can see there, there, the, up close, you got a lot of the, uh, you know, the kind of the cool hat looking thing. You got her hair, very white, you know, very pale complexion, all that stuff. You got her little um, ponytail with the ribbon. Yeah, you got a little scarf there with the blood in it. You got, yeah, just nice little detailing in the coat and stuff. You can see all the texturing in that. And you also you got this uh, detailing right here, all that stuff. You got, you know, the crimson on the inside of the the coat, you know, the pants and the boots and all that stuff. And the cape back here too, which again, nicely textured cape. It's all really well done. There's little clasps and everything all over the thing. It's just, it looks really nice, honestly. Just really nice looking Figma overall. Um, also nice and tall too. Yeah, so it just looks really good. Over, uh, the, the, the course of posability is, you know, a lot of usual Figma fare, though there's some things like the pad, you know, ball, multiple ball joints there. So you got, you know, down and up, although when you start looking up, it kind of, mostly kind of starts po pulling the uh, ball joint out. Got left and right. It's a little limited thanks to the collar and the scarf and all that stuff, but you can get some, you know, stuff going. The ponytails on multiple hinges and whatnot. So you got up and down, you got twisting and all that stuff. You cannot remove the hat. There is no alternate faces, which is unusual for Figma, but considering, you know, yeah everything i can forgive that one uh shoulders can move forward and back and everything there's again kind of this is a somewhat softer plastic when you get forward and back and kind of rotate around you have outward you have a uh, bit of um how should i put it kind of a bit of butterflying and whatnot because of the, the way it's socketed in there so you have a lot you know a lot of uh extra rotation there you have of course elbow bends which go that far Wrists can rotate and hinge and whatnot, and you can you know adjust the rotation and stuff so they can hinge slightly differently and all that. You got a you got a hand coming off is what you have. Hmm. Yeah, you have of course this. There's a uh, ball joint up there, so you got twisting and you got crunching all around. There's a lot there. There's of course, there is in fact a bit of a waist swivel down here. It's hard to see though because of all the cloak stuff, but there is a waist swivel. And of course, actually it's also ball jointed. So you got a lot of uh, movement there. Hips can go forward pretty easily. This stuff, you know, kind of cooperates. You got a pretty good kick. 
You have outward, which again, pretty far considering the material. You do have a uh, swivel. There is no, unlike a lot of the Figma, there, there, well, there, I think there might be, it's hard to tell. Yeah, unlike a lot of the Figma of late, there's no way I like pull down and get a little more uh, range. Yeah, don't, you don't really need it with this one though. There you have a slice swivel. Uh, knees can bend pretty good, pretty far. There's a swivel there as well because of that. And of course, here at the feet, you have forward and back and side to side and you no know, twisting and all that stuff. And of course, a little toe joint. Yep. Pretty darn good posability. And she can actually stand pretty well. Oh yeah, another thing is the, the, the cloak here, the cape. Those are also on the little, those little weird um, swivel ball joint uh, tinge thing. So you kind of, you know, splay a little bit and, you know, uh, move back and there's stuff you can do there if you want, you know, have her doing particular poses if you'd like. Yeah, the thing is the cape is kind of adds enough extra weight to her back. So she sometimes like to, doesn't like to stand with, the, yeah, so, uh. That can be a bit of an issue, but of course she comes with the stand, which is the usual Figma, you know, there's multiple hinges and there's a swivel there at the base. And there you go. And of course you can also use, because again, all this, you can use the uh, bonus one, which is I'm probably gonna wind up using. And of course that's still compatible and yeah, use that instead. Of course the usual peg in the back. But yeah. There you go. Now, now a couple things to note. Okay, a couple accessories. The, the accessories you get with the uh, regular edition, well, just you know, if, if, if what you get with the regular edition is, of course, you get the longer sword. You can see that the longer sword again, nice intricate detailing on the handle and all that stuff. You get the, the shorter sword, which, yep, yeah, again, intricate detailing on the blade and the handle as well. See all that. Get the rifle, the gun. Again, nice intricate detailing there. Guy's also got a very coppery color to it. There's also, yeah, the little uh, replacement ball joint for the hands, just in case. And you get, if you deluxe, you get three alternate pairs of hands, including um, fists. You got the open hands right there, but you also get fists, uh, the gun, gun gripping hands, and the sword gripping hands. Now, if you get the deluxe version, you also get another uh, pair of kind of open hands, although they're slightly different shape. They're a very specific pose. You get this, you get this uh, scabbard and, well, yeah, and a handle, which can either have the, you know, the this by itself or, you know, plug this in and, yeah, as the sort of sheathed. And you got this blade, you know, this blade effect thing, which, you know, the blood thing for, you know, the game. It's bl again, blood, very powerful in this game. You have a second one which already has a handle attached to it. And you got this little piece as well, which is to extend out the uh, stand so she can do pretty specific pose with those blades, with the uh, blood blades. And you have the chair from the, well, the, well, the main thing that was yeah, advertising the game was her sitting in the chair. And again, Nice intricate uh, detailing on the back and everything. So there you go. Love those accessories. So um, let's see. Of course, swapping accessories is pretty easy. Let's see. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the sword and gun first. Yeah, the gun. That's pretty straightforward. Um, right here. Yeah, the gun hands are the ones with that the fingers extended, and that's pretty straightforward to get into her hand. You kind of have to bend the plastic a little bit, but you know, it's kind of how you're supposed to do things. Yeah, bend that plastic a bit, get there. And gotta get her finger into the uh, trigger area and there you go, that's the hand in and of course, pop that off and like that, if you like. The swords, also pretty cool, this what's cool here is, um, now, Thing is, of course, yeah, you can take the hand here, of course, uh, slip that, slip that one in, right? 
if you like. Plug that in, you know, she's holding that sword. Or, of course, you can get this hand kind of, you can, this was, because of this, how this is, this, there's no like separation thing as far as I can tell. Uh, so you have to kind of get this one squeezed in the hand, which can be a little scary and difficult. Might be easiest to do it when it's off the body. As far as I can tell, there's no way to do it other than squeeze it on, which is a little annoying, but it's doable. Get that on there, and then, of course, pop that on. Cool thing is because of the whole transforming weapon system as well, this can peg into the bottom of this and to, you know, do her uh, transformed weapon, which, that's real neat. So you got that. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of her hand, because i got to show off the other ones. So... There we go. Now with the blood blades, what you want to do there is, okay, so first off, this one already has a handle and you're just going to, you know, pop that in one hand. I'm going to get this hand off and put that one in real quick. And you got the blood blades. This one re also requires this handle. So you just pop that out and uh, you know, pop it into here like that. And for, yeah, and the thing is, you're also gonna have to where to go. There it is. Yeah, once again, you're gonna have to squeeze his hand past the. Uh, this I don't like. I wish this instead. This had some sort of system so you could, yeah, you know, like pop this off and then get the hand attached and then reattach it. But and they usually do that. I'm surprised they didn't do it this time. I'm not sure if there's like a budget issue or what. He was like, it's already, this is already really expensive. Because I know they announced it. How long ago did they announce this figure? Because it was a while. I remember it being a while ago they announced this uh, Figma. And it took them years to get it out. Because it just kind of disappeared for a while. To the point people actually thought it might have been canceled. I'm glad they didn't cancel it though. Because, uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this. Anyway, got on the handle there. And then you go. She can uh, do this. And do her a big, big thing. And, of course, you can take this piece. And I'm going to lay her down real quick pop that off and put this one on instead and now it's you know can sit much higher and now you can uh have her doing you know doing her big old yeah i'm about to kick your butt <laughs> yeah that whole thing in there so you can do that if you want I believe that the cool thing here is also these can also uh, attach, so you can do that. So that's also really neat. Now, of course, the last thing, and the, I guess this is the the big draw, is the party piece, so to speak. Is I'm just gonna pop that hand off. Is okay. I'm gonna swap out to the um, the bonus hands because they're kind of what's necessary for this. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so those, and I'm going to get her off this stand because, yeah. Now, there is one other thing I didn't mention, of course, which I kind of forgot, which is this piece. This piece right here is, um, yeah, this piece right here, which, yeah, it's the sitting part. So what you need, you need that so she can sit in the chair. And to do that, here's a couple things you have to do as well. So I already swapped the hands for the ones that conclude in the deluxe version. Now, um, you're going to have to remove the cape bits. Thankfully, they're just on, you know, just simple pegs. You can just, that's real easy. And just remember the the one with the, uh, this one goes on the outer peg because it's got the angle. And this one goes on the inner peg. Just remember that. So you want to go ahead and just kind of get those kind of tucked away too. Just, you just can't get those out of the way. Now, now here, what you're going to then do here is you, basically this whole lower section gets removed, right? And then this part, there's a little thing to help uh, keep the spacing. Unpeg peg that and go ahead and uh, put that in here just to you know, keep that nice. You go ahead and peg this in here, like so. Like that. And then the boots. And make sure to do it right. Yeah, the boots will just slide off like that. And I believe they're keyed a specific way as well. Yeah, they're keyed. See, this, the left one has a little uh, L shape and this one's just a square. 
So yeah, make sure to put the boots on the right, the correct feet. So you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Yep. And there you go. There's that. And of course, and then I'll sit her in the chair. Move this piece right here because I'm just one. Ah. Sit her in the chair, and of course, uh, where'd it go? Here it is. Got to get this hand off here. There we go. Now, get that and plug that into here. And then, this part right here, get the hands here and just kind of, yep, got to get that wrapped around there. And then and it could be a little, uh, there's no uh, pegs or anything. So it's just kind of a, getting it positioned exactly right. It could be a little bit of a pain, but it's doable. Yeah, I'm not going to quite do that, but yeah. Um, Getting that all positioned so she's sitting. Yeah, and this thing, the thing is, it's not like, it's nothing like sitting there to hold it in place. So you kind of have to position it just right. Yeah. Once you do, then of course you bend your head down and, uh, yeah, get, I'm, just, I'm being perfectionist right now. <laughs> you get all that done, and then of course you could put her on this stand or whatever, and now you can then just leave a corpse well enough alone. So there you go. Um, that's Lady Maria. A lot of accessories, but really easy to use. Not too difficult, you know, to do it. And uh, for the most part, it works. The only thing is with this pose, with the chair pose, unfortunately, there isn't really like, I wish there was like a, just a tab or something or a peg or something on the sword hilt so it can actually, she could hold it a little better for this mode, considering that's literally what it's for. But and I guess they were wanted to be able to available for other poses you might have in mind. But as it stands, it's a really cool um, overall. Like seriously, it's like a really cool um, set overall. But the Kitty Deluxe, you know, it gets all the bits. You know, you don't have to get the deluxes. I believe you'll save about twenty, thirty, or something like something like thirty bucks if you don't get the deluxe version. But yeah, um, I think the deluxe version personally for me was worth it just because I really love this game and I really love this boss fight. So for me, it was like, yeah, no brainer. I need Lady Maria, and I was I think I talked about it before. I was just really excited for her. Um, yeah, as it stands. I think it's a really cool figment. It's got a cool, lot of cool accessories. They all work really well. There's no, I'm not really finding any QC issues. The only th one thing I will uh, note is, yeah, the one problem, I, a couple problems I have, which is getting the, some, some, one of the swords or two of the swords in particular, it's really a pain in the butt to get them um, positioned on the hands. And also when I was reattaching these capes after, you know, for review, I did note that they were a pain in the butt to get them repegged on. So that was one thing to uh, note. But for the most part, it works really well. All the parts are nice, work really nicely, and it just looks great and has a lot of detail. The only thing is, if you can try to get it from a Japanese shop, I'm not sure how many of them still have it in stock. But yeah, for me, yeah, this was a, I I wound up pre-ordering it from the U.S. shop way back when I forgot. That's where I ordered it, and uh, surprise, 130 bucks. <laughs> yeah, 130 dollars pretty much for the U.S. shop. I believe it's closer to 100 dollars from um if you buy it from a Japanese shop. So plus shipping. So yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like. It can be spendy, but it's a really cool figment. I think it's worth it. So uh, that's just for you to decide, though. So there you go. That's Lady Maria, the Astral Clock Tower. Best game, best boss, great figma. I recommend it, but it also is a bit on the spendier side, considering you can't, again, you can save a bit of money if you don't mind, you know, getting less stuff. Again, if you get the uh, cheaper version, you don't get the throne and everything. So, and that for me was the big selling point of the deluxe was the throne pose so um there you go i hope you found this video reform informative or entertaining i hope you like comment subscribe check out my twitter i'm at nemesis prime one check out my co-host co-host.org slash nemesis dash prime check out my coffee my patreon and i shall see you next time with another video review